Pop, 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 pop. As a young child, enthusiastic about meteorology and theater, Connor Sullivan struggled with hearing loss. For years, he wore an aid until one day in high school, his world went completely silent. You think life is going one way, one way, and then it's just, you know, everything changes. Connor received a cochlear implant. Yeah, I can hear my dad go. <laughs> this video taken as the device was turned on for the very first time. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good that you recognize wow. that. That's awesome. The emotional journey, one of the biggest reasons Connor's new passion is helping others facing similar challenges. I've been there. Um, I know what it feels like to not catch the end of jokes. I know what it feels like to, you know, not hear your professor very well. I know what it hears like, feels like to not hear very well in a restaurant. You know, I know what all that feels like. And, you know, you, you know, I want to be able to help patients. This is Connor's final year before completing his Doctor of Audiology degree. He's now working with patients at Children's Mercy Hospital, sharing a message of hope. Just because they have a hearing loss doesn't mean that they can't be a doctor or a lawyer or anything that they want to be. You should never change your expectations of somebody just because they have a hearing loss. Kelly Gibbs, KNBC 9 News.